Hey guys, Ghost Pepper here. Today I'm going to tell you about seven free things you can do to be better prepared. So stick around, it's going to be a good one. Now guys, before we go any further, if there's one free thing you can do to help support me, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if not already. Now we've all had times where we're a little strapped for cash, and when money's tight, what are some things we can do to keep preparing? Well today, I've come up with a list of seven totally free things you can do to be better prepared. All right, so the first thing on our list is gonna be saving plastic bags. Now every time you go shopping at a grocery store or any other retail store, they give you those standard shopping plastic bags, and what I do is I save all of them. Now the reason I save them is because they can be used for several different things. Uh, one, I think if there's a bug out scenario, I think it's good you can use it to help take out your groceries or any other food you have. I mean, if it's good enough to bring groceries in, it should be easier and make things quicker to bring groceries out or any sort of food preps you have out. So any sort of like short-term pantry items that you want to bring with you if you're bugging out, I think it's good for that. And I also think they're great for waste removal. You can put them in the small plastic garbage bins, uh, as well as just removing waste from the house. You're gonna need to keep doing that even if it's a SHTF or grid down scenario, you still need to get trash out of your shelter. So I think they're really great for that and it costs no money to you. Now our second item on the list is actually using two things that you're probably throwing out in the trash. There's an easy way to make a DIY fire starter. If you take a toilet paper roll, the tube on the inside, as well as the lint you remove from your dryer and take that lint and shove it into the toilet paper tube, you actually have a pretty decent fire starter. If you want to take it a step further, you can put wax inside. Uh, I don't do that. I just take the dryer lint and put it into the toilet paper tube to make it as easy as possible. But it's actually a pretty effective fire starter. And these are two things that you're already throwing out already. So just make sure to save that and put it away somewhere. Also to note, do not store it next to flammable items. Just a pro tip, but make sure you're storing it somewhere safe and you'll have tons of free fire starters. Now moving on down the list, our third free thing is online trading. We are in a beautiful age of the internet. There are so many resources out there that offer free guides, free training, free tutorials. And what I would recommend is if you're a little strapped for cash, get some training, right? There's so many great resources like YouTube. There's also websites you can use to get free online training courses. Just try to get as many skills as possible. If there's ever an SHTF or grid down scenario, having more skills is better than less. So uh, learn how to cook, learn how uh, different medical skills. There's definitely different videos on like how to apply a tourniquet, how to pack a wound. There's a ton of different tutorials out there. So make sure to get some online free training. Now our fourth free thing you can do to be better prepared is saving your seasoning packets. Now, we all get those seasoning packets, right? We all get the hot sauces, the ketchup, stuff like that. Just save it. A lot of that stuff has a really long shelf life and a lot of it also does not need to be refrigerated. And I know it doesn't seem like a necessary thing, but not only can you help save some money, you can also use this uh, to spice up your survival food. A lot of the long-term survival food is kind of plain and definitely can be spiced up with some hot sauce. And just, if you're eating, you know, the standard staple sort of like quote unquote prepper foods, right? You're eating a lot of rice and beans. That hot sauce packet could go a long way. So make sure to save your seasoning packets. All right, our fifth item on the list is gonna be saving money. Now I know this may seem a little odd, but you're more likely to encounter personal crisis than some mega crisis, like a super volcano erupting or zombies rising from the ground. You're more likely to have some sort of financial strife. And one of the easiest things you can do is start saving money. Also, according to the FEMA checklist, one of the items you should have is actually $1,000 emergency cash on hand. Now, I know a lot of people out there live paycheck to paycheck. I was there for a long time, but one of the things I did was just compartmentalize it. You don't have to save hundreds of dollars every paycheck. So what I started doing was saving a really small amount, whatever I thought I could afford or get by. Now, as an example, let's say you get paid twice a month. If you save $25 every paycheck, then by the end of the year, you'll have saved $600. I know that may see, not seem like a lot, and that's not to the $1,000, but that's much better than you were before. Also, if any sort of personal crisis, let's say there's an issue with your car, let's say you lose your job, you have that nice little nest egg of cash on hand, just in case anything happens. And I would recommend saving it as cash as well. 
Um, I know some people would prefer the bank. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think uh, if anything happens, it's easier to access cash that's in the home. Now, I know some preppers may say, I'm gonna invest that into precious metals. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think cash is a little more applicable to more situations. But to keep a long story short, just try to start saving money. All right, our sixth thing on the list is going to be getting in better shape. Now, I think this can help a lot of people. If you think you're gonna go through some SHTF grid down scenario and you're really out of shape, that could be one of the most stressful things in your lifetime. So you wanna be physically as best as you can. Now typically people that exercise and have good diets and are not overweight have less health issues. One of the best things you can do, one of the best preventative essentially medicines or practices you can do is to try to get in better shape. If you are overweight, try to lose that weight. If you have a bad diet, try to remedy that. Also, this costs no money. Uh, it doesn't cost you any money to go on walks, to do running. There's a ton of different at-home workouts as well. Also, there are free apps like My Fitness Pal and Car Manager you can use to work on your diet as well as exercise. So I think this is something that'll help all of us. And like I said, it doesn't cost any money. So if you're a little tight on cash, try to get in better shape. All right, our seventh and last thing on the list is going to be to practice with the gear you have. Just because you're a little tight on cash doesn't mean you can't practice with the equipment you have. If you have a ferro rod, practice using your ferro rod. Practice sharpening your knives. If you have a bug out bag or a get home bag, practice hiking with that. Get used to the gear you have. Practice with the equipment you have. Practicing with your equipment or your gear or the skills you have doesn't cost money. Also, you don't wanna wait until an SHTF or grid down scenario to try using these things. I myself was guilty of this. I had a survival knife and a ferro rod and I didn't use it for months and months. It's a lot harder than it looks. So make sure to get good and practice the skills and practice with the gear that you have already so if anything does happen, you'll be better prepared. All right guys, so that's my list of seven free things you can do to be better prepared. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any other free things that you guys do to be better prepared when you guys are a little tight on cash. Uh, I love trying to help out the prepping community and I love all the feedback I get from you guys. So please make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if not already. Your guys' support means the world to me. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.